Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, hello. This is Jess Cook 41 with the Rock and Cake Gaming Channel, and I would like to welcome you back to another episode of The Infected. Well, guys, I do, I do, I do apologize that it has been a little bit of, I'm not going to say a huge amount of time, but it has been a little bit of time since we last uploaded a video of The Infected because simply I had to do a bunch of organizing um, pretty much from the live stream, and as, if anybody knows, um, if you watch the videos, I'm freezing, good lord. Anyway, if you watch the videos, I'm kind of OCD about how stuff looks. So let's go ahead and put a jacket on real quick. It's pretty much winter now. It actually just turned winter, so we're good to go. So kind of give you a little rundown of what happened. Um, I pretty much finished up all of the um, all of the ingot shelves. So we are 100% done with that. They're all lined up. We've got a good amount, uh, i say a little bit of uh, iron, good amount of copper loading up on some stones let's see here we got a good amount of iron no I'm not sorry bah, 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 bah. now we got a little bit of aluminum and a uh, good amount of cobalt but it is a work in progress um, let's see here all of these are pretty much empty for copper and cobalt iron is almost empty just that one that one chest pretty much and there's one aluminum so yeah we just gotta pretty much wait now and that's pretty much all that's really happened I've done a bunch of a big reason I have not been able to upload is because I've been working on this stupid wood room and I'm telling you guys it is gonna be a headache because it would have made the most sense to put the wood room right here yep right where the crafting room is but guess what guys or crafting building guess what I'm not going to move it I promise you that because that was a headache just just in itself to get this thing here and I'd have to tear down the whole second floor and everything so we're not gonna do that we're going to put it over here, but that's going to be later in the episode. If you do remember from the uh, the last episode, we almost died. Um, right here, actually. Yep, right in this area is where we almost died. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of armor just in case some stuff happens like that again. And then probably work or get the foundation laid for the wood room. So what we need to do for armor is get some Kevlar that we have. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that out. A poop ton of plastic because we're going to need it. Um... We're also going to need some cloth, which I don't. There it is. And then we're going to need... Uh, I don't know what else. I really don't. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's see here. Itempedia. Yes, there it is. Armor and clothes. Um, we'll start with this. We need five cloth, ten Kevlar. Um, we have the five cloth. Yes, we do. We just need two Kevlar. And how do you make Kevlar? Good gracious guys um other question my air it is we need three cloth oh uh, no it's already started ladies and girls boys and gentlemen it's already started oh you little bee you did not just do that sir that is super loud in my ear but it'll be okay so we're gonna need to make a poop ton of stuff for this um we're at least gonna get what i want to do let's see here making this for armor the leg armor for sure. Clothes we can kind of make as we go. We don't really need them too much, but... So for cloth, let's see what we got to do. I know that's a bulk item. 15 plant fiber and 25 bark chips. Okay, so this is going to be kind of running back and forth here because of the simple fact that all of our storage and our chests and stuff are not exactly where we need it to be. Um, cloth is made on the loom, which is way over here. So this is what I'm saying. It's going to be a lot of running back and forth. One day, this crafting room will be 100% good to go, and it will not be this this much of an issue. But let's go ahead and hold that shift key down, drag over the plant fiber, and scroll to 15. Same for these bark chips, but that will be 25, and we can make the cloth. Cool. There we go. We'll go ahead and just make a bunch of cloth. Well, yeah, we'll just make all the cloth we can from these bark chips, because we're going to need quite a bit. So we might as well... We'll make as much cloth as we can anyway. I think we can only make one more set. Yep, one more set it is. I don't know why I have waited this long to make armor. I really don't. Especially with a series like this, like the permadeath series that we're doing, guys. I don't know. I really don't. Why Why did I wait so long? It makes no sense to me. Alright, so that's done for the cloth. We have 20 there. We need to make Kevlar. So what did we need to do Kevlar again? Oh, wrong button. Others. There we go. Three cloth, three plastic, ten plant fiber. So we need to go get more plant fiber. Oh, uh, we're going to be running. Well, the lake, or the pond finally froze over. So that is interesting. 
I did log out earlier today and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm I logged out under the water. So I hope that winter does not start um, Whenever I log back in because I know that oops wrong place I know that can be a little bit of an issue and I don't think my workbench is up here So we might have to make another one of those So one more time we should have everything now other Made on the loom. All right, cool. So three cloth three plastic ten plant fiber so three cloth, one, two, three, three plastic, and ten plant fiber. Boom, boom, boom. Making money moves, as you guys already know. And there we go. We need to do that one more time. I need to just, I need to make a whole chest to just have Kevlar and stuff made. But once you make all your, uh, once you make all of the, what's it called? Da, ba, ba. The clothing, you really don't have to make that many more of them. Unless they break, which they don't break super fast, so it's kind of easy to, kind of easy to keep track of or stay on top of. So, five cloth, ten Kevlar. There we go. Made on the workbench, which is not here. Um, do we have a workbench over here? Or is it, yeah, there's a workbench right here. There we go. Big brain, guys. Big brain. Five cloth. Let's go ahead and split that in half. Good to go. We got some body armor, so we're a little bit more protected. That is good. It automatically equips once you first make it. Um, now, if you take it off, then you will always have to put it back on. So make sure you keep that in mind. So pants, we're going to have to put those snow pants on pretty soon. So we're not even going to worry about that. But the leg armor is going to be the next step. Um, armor and clothes. There we go. So five cloth, eight Kevlar. Here's where it's going to get to be interesting. So we need cloth. What is it? Three. Three. And then shoot. Was it ten of these? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was ten. And click click is that what it is click click boom there we go there's a song it's a good song if you didn't know um okay so there we go one two come on that's a shift button that's why it's not working one two three one two three and kevlar Ooh, this is gonna take a little bit of time gonna take a little bit of time guys so we'll go ahead and do everything that we can here so we need what yeah we can make one more boom three of those son of a bee there we go and then ten of those five more to go guys five more so we need some more plant fire we're just gonna bring that chest in here because it is I cannot get through there cuz I'm a fat I'm a fat kid there we go so we need the plastic which is in here no it's not there it is we'll take all the plastic we can hold right now because we're gonna need it I'm glad we have a bunch of oil because we're also going to need that come on game there we go. Put you down here. All the bark chips will come with us. Alright, we'll go one. 300 should be plenty for now. There we go. And then we'll take this whole chest with us. Again, this whole area is going to change, so that's why I'm not doing anything to it. But before we can start working on that, we have to, have to, have to get that wood room. That wood room has to get built so we can get rid of that stuff. So let's we'll go ahead and throw this bad boy right there. So we need some cloth right now, so we'll go ahead and grab some more plant fiber. We have plenty of bark chips on us, so 15 and 25. I'll we'll try to do this as fast as possible. There we go. So what we'll do actually is we'll cut out, and then whenever I have all of the required materials needed, then we will go ahead and cut back in. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure that we have all of the required materials needed to make the... Uh, Where's he at? Where's he at? There she is, anyway. To make those leg armor pieces. And that should probably be all we're gonna do for armor this episode. I mean, that is pretty much all the armor, actually. Let's go ahead and look. I think that's all the armor, now that I say that. Armor, armor. I know you. some things have armor on them, but this is the main pieces that I wanted. We'll go ahead and... Eh. Nah, we won't make any boots. If we'll make anything else, we'll make it off camera. Not too big of a deal. I just want to get the big pieces of armor made. Now for the... What is it? The le that deer is so annoying, guys. So we need five cloth, eight Kevlar. Cool. And it's made on the workbench. Five cloth, eight Kevlar. Don't forget it. Five cloth. And then eight Kevlar. Cool. Leg armor automatically equips onto us. Now we are at, what? 26 armor. It's a lot better than we were at. So that is... That is what it is. I want to go ahead and get four of these made as well. I don't know if we'll be able to do it today. But the biggest thing I want to go ahead and start laying down is the actual... What's it called? The actual... Uh, bah, 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 the wood room. Now I want it to be on the same kind of angle as this. So I know it's going to be kind of a pain. But we'll have to bring 
out foundations from here all the way over to there just want to make sure the right angle is good so let's go ahead and clear up our inventory real fast we do have a little bit of um, plant fiber on us we'll go ahead and keep that on us but it's not that big of a deal it's not too heavy but these bark chips and stuff start to weigh a good amount we don't need these seeds no we should be good store up all the plastic in here we need to go ahead and remake some more since we're running super low now cloth you go in there you know what you plant fiber in there for now there we go all right cool 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 so before we start any kind of building what we always do is one turn off our light because it already is super bright out here we go ahead and save because we don't want to have any issues now this is going to be a little bit of trial and error because i don't know exactly where i want it so that's going to be kind of the issue so we want to come out here so the reason i'm snap like i said the reason i'm snapping from here is i want it to be on the same angle kind of and then definitely the same height to line up with this so it is so hard to see um so we definitely want to make sure we keep that in mind if we go here i think that's going to be too close to the building so actually we might need to go a little bit more that this snow guys is so hard to see in all right is that there it is so yeah that's probably going to be the best bet to go that way yes it is so let's go ahead and place these down one by one now these little ghost images they don't cost us anything so we can did i put that in the right spot yes i did again it's so hard to see with this snow i was hoping to start this before the winter but i guess uh the infected gods had a little bit different plans for us all right that should be good uh, i wish it was like one more out actually yeah we're probably gonna move it one more out but does that mess up Mm, no it doesn't so that's like i said it's gonna be a little bit of a trial and error guys i just gotta find there we go a little bit of trial and error because remember we want this to be the same height the same like kind of angle from what those are on just so everything stays relatively the same now we're gonna do the same thing with this base like this base is gonna probably have to end up moving like we're gonna have to tear everything down because one it's not on the same level as these foundations but it is what it is, and it's a little bit of resources wasted, but guess what, guys? It's going to make the base look that much better if everything's on the same angle. And honestly, we'll probably have to do the same thing with that over there. Uh, Lord, guys, I'm telling you, it's, it's a bit of work to get everything to kind of look good. But that is the overall goal. All right, so boom. Uh, if we go any more, I don't know, over. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's gonna not work out very well. So the stairs will have to be here. And, ah, oh man, I don't know. We'll have to see. Mm, yeah, that's not gonna work because this is gonna go straight into the mountain and not let me clip into there. Okay, okay, so too easy. We'll get rid of this. Alright, so we want the stairs to be here then. Wait, no. Okay, so the stairs be here. Yep, that's where it needs to be. Cool. So we'll go ahead and delete that. Delete this one. Delete this one. And then we'll go ahead and ghost image these um, right here. Let's see. Remember, that's going to be stairs. And then this is going to be... Hmm, do I want it this way? Yeah, this way. Stairs boom and then this way cool so this is going to be the stairs so we'll probably have to change the direction i don't know. see how hard i wish we could turn on the brightness or something in here and we might be able to we might be able to but i'm not let's see come on stop being a game stop being glitchy um where there we go so that's the right direction i believe it's so hard to see let's see if we can actually adjust that a little bit because this snow guys is so brightness is there no brightness i don't see camera right now nah, i don't see any type of brightness maybe i'm small brain and can't figure it out but uh whoops wrong button go ahead and apply back there we go so let's go ahead and save all right so that is where the building is gonna be now it's gonna pop out a little bit now all this other stuff we can go ahead and delete here let's put this bow away i remember this is going to be the stairs so it's going to kind of be the same as that area where it actually um goes up into the foundation with the stairs that's my main plan so i want to keep that it's going to be like the same size width and uh what's it called let's go ahead and delete this question mark yeah 
So the width and the length is pretty much going to be the same size. So again, I just needed these foundations here to make sure it's on the right level and the right angle for the foundations. Now, everything else we can just snap from there. So that's not a big deal. There's a nice little rock we can pick up. Two of them. There we go. There we go. All right. So we can go ahead and delete all this. Now, again, it is going to be kind of wasteful later on when we have to completely tear this down. But it is what it is. I want the base to look good. And guess what? It's my land, guys. It is my land. It's my resources. So it's all my grinding. That's all that matters. All right. Go ahead and delete, delete, delete like crazy. And we are good there. So let's go ahead and finish this up. We might build. Yeah, we're probably going to go ahead and build this one right here so we can place the stairs. We have no planks on us. Let's go grab some planks real quick. I don't want this to be a huge building episode, but we are going to get a little bit done. At least the foundation, like I said. We'll go ahead and get the, the, the shape and stuff out of the way. So later on down the road, we can work on that. Holy Jesus, that is screaming in my ear, bro. I mean, man, I'm so sorry. There you go. You deserve to die for screaming at me. That's all that matters. Let's go ahead and grab some logs. They are everywhere still from the live stream again if you did miss the live stream it's okay maybe you can get to the next one we had a lot of fun so try to try to catch it next time if you're able to if not it's okay there will still be videos popping up alrighty so we need two more logs and boom bada boom bada boom there we go again we're not gonna build a lot of this just exactly what we need to to like place the stairs and stuff like that now this building is going to be more of an open style building like that's closed with walls and stuff this is going to be more of open okay so that's going to make it i feel like different than anything else that's going to be here so that's going to be whoa that's going to be kind of nice let's go ahead and place these stairs in um there they are and boom yes it's going to be mucho nice guys mucho nice so we'll go ahead and just build these stairs so if we need to we can get up here there we go boom that's so nice guys can we jump up there i'm pretty sure we can just barely just like that but remember everything's gonna be on the same level i want everything at the base to be the same level now i don't know if i'm gonna do one big wrap around or not so right now what we'll go ahead and do is place the rest of the foundations down is that going the right way yes it is is that one yes it is okay so let's go ahead and place these i believe it's nine wide total so then we need to go four so that's one two and uh, is it going the right way three and there we go come on four so four on this side and then four on this side hopefully it doesn't interfere with that building that's what i'm worried about so now that we already built that stuff it's a little late now what was that three yes it is okay so it's definitely not going to interfere we'll have a little bit of room um, we might not be able to do a big wrap around like I kind of wanted, but we'll end up figuring it out. Now, what is it deep? I'm pretty sure it's five deep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, yeah, five deep. So we got one here. Yeah, we don't count the we don't count the porch. Okay, okay, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Does that work out like perfect? Oh, that is that is. That is lucky, guys. It might be a little bit farther than this. Oh, I think it lines up like almost maybe perfect, guys. Like, that's going to be awesome. Still kind of keep this little area open. So, that's going to be really, really nice. I'm going to like that a lot. Cool. So, let's go ahead and finish these guys up. Making sure they're all going the right way. I'm probably not going to really start building too much on this until the winter's over. Because, one, I hate looking at it in the snow. Just because it's so hard to see the way that these um, these foundations are going. If the developer does watch the channel, don't know if he does or not. Can we get a like some kind of option to turn down the brightness? Unless I have a small brain and have my light on. No, I don't. I've had it off the whole time. So the brightness of the snow is just kind of... That's a little too far. Yes, it is. The brightness of the snow is just a little much. But maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's a little bright. But again, that's just me. All right, so let's go ahead and foundation it up this way. And again, the foliage, once we place like a foundation or something, please, please, please let it not clip through, okay? So one, two, three, four, 
and five. I really hope it's all going the right way. I think it is. If not, whatever, we'll fix it later. Yes, this building is going to be massive, just like the crafting room. That was really big, but guess what, guys? I think if I did my math right, I think it's like 1,200 and something logs we'll be able to hold in here, which is going to be a good amount. So that's going to be nice. Now, again, this is going to have to move, so we're going to have to refigure that out. But overall, I think it's going to be a uh, it's going to be an awesome kind of build, right? So let's go ahead and finish up these foundations now that we're already here. Again, I don't want it to be a huge building episode, but we are going to get some of this done because I want to get the base done. And in order to get the base done, guys, I have to get this done. The wood room. Because I'm not about being a person that wastes a lot of time. Is there one already there? Yeah, there is. I don't want to waste a lot of time. When I say waste time, I mean like having to move something four or five times, which is what would happen if I just went ahead and moved those. But it's good that I'm doing this now because I'll be able to line up the base and the greenhouse off of the same angle as this stuff, right? So that's going to be huge. And this is getting really super hard to see. And it's getting to be kind of irritating. There we go. Um, there we go. I think that's everything. Oh, no, missed one. There we go. So now I think it's everything. So that's going to be kind of cool. So it's five deep right now. The only thing I might do different, instead of being five deep, it might be four deep actually. Nope, we're going to have to do five deep. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to do the front of this. So that's going to be for later on down the road. Again, I know it is kind of hard to see. I do apologize for that. But the infected gods love to have super white snow. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Maybe we can get a better view from up top. Let's see Let's see that one. Come on. There we go. Yeah. That's a little bit better. You can kind of see it. It's like right there to there. So yeah, I think that's going to look really nice with this. I honestly wanted to put it directly across from here. But I knew I had I was gonna have some issues over in this area for the pieces snapping in and I don't know It would be super close To actually I don't know if it would work. I think it would work better here Like it would look better over here with that style of building But honestly if this building was over here It would be perfect because I would like to have like a back entrance like we're doing over here to go up to the hill to get the trees and stuff But like I said, I'm not moving I'm not moving this building because we have put in so many hours, so many resources to, to put up, to tear down, you know, to do all that stuff. But yeah. So the this is what we want pretty much to happen with the wood room. I think it's going to turn out well. Again, I might not build it for a couple episodes because of the simple fact that I really want to see it without. Can I jump up here, please? Thank you. Ah, come on. I, I thought I was there. And go. Son of a bee, anyway. I want to be able to see it without the snow just to kind of look how it uh, I think that's pretty much where it's probably gonna stay honestly but yeah it is it looks kind of crowded honestly we'll see we'll see how it looks worst comes to worst I'll save it I'll build it I'll play around with it off of camera so I can kind of get a better idea of it being this size it might end up being a little smaller act what is wrong with me it might end up being a little bit smaller so we'll have to go ahead and see that for sure. Um, but yeah, that's the plan with that. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of organization done. So let's go ahead and move all of this stuff. Whoops, wrong button. We'll go ahead and move all this because as I, as you guys saw, um, the whole running back and forth over here with moving the crafting area, the crafting building, is going to be kind of an issue. So we got to take all these chests out first. Because the developer fixed it. He fixed it. Yes, he did. It was only a matter of time to where you can move this chest rack with the shelves there. But I do agree with it because it's kind of cheating. But yes, so the main crafting room is going to be up here. So we'll go ahead and place this right here in the middle for now. It might move a little bit around, but not too much. Is that going to fit in there the right way? I didn't think so, game. Of course, you wanted to be backwards whatever I don't know if that's gonna work or not we'll see probably not yes it does awesome now here's the tricky part to get it to line up 
without messing the direction up here. Come on, come on, there we go. Buttons work for me. When I say buttons, I mean fingers because my fingers sometimes don't work with my brain. Alrighty, fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Oh, yes, it actually works. So that's gonna be something that stays up here but not going in that area because if you remember from last episode, I talked about like this is gonna be the mass storage, like the bulk items, like a complete chest of, uh, as an example, complete chest of cloth, complete chest of Kevlar, complete chest of um, plastic, you know, that's gonna be like the mass storage and the upstairs storage is gonna be like the stuff we actually use. And like when stuff empties out, we'll just, we'll flip flop a chest, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's the main plan for that one anyway. So we'll go ahead and throw these in here. We will probably adjust them later to put them exactly the right, the same way that they were in here, just so we don't kind of get confused. But I don't want to bore you guys with that. So what we'll do is just go ahead and get all these out here, because it's going to be a lot easier to do that. There we go. Little by little. I do need to actually check these now that I say that. Okay, so we need to empty those out too. So what we'll do is we'll get all these outside. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit of moving. Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. There's been a lot of work done. A lot of work done since the stream. I'll tell you that much. And whoo. It has been pretty much in there with those shelves. If you guys know anything, like I said, about my OCD, it took a while. And then we had to build some more shelves, so then we had to make more planks, and I'll tell you what, guys, it, uh, it was a bit of a process. We've literally filled up and depleted our plank storage multiple times since this stream. I think probably like four times getting everything the way it needs to be. So we'll go ahead real quick, because this is getting super close. Ah, uh, come on, planks. Well, we'll go ahead and get rid of these planks. Dear, don't you tempt me. Don't you tempt me. I will kill you so fast. All right, so it is five o'clock So it's getting pretty close to nighttime, which is kind of good because I really want to do a swarm Try out this new armor, but first I need to get these emptied out We'll take as much coal as we can anything that won't fit in the chest We're just gonna go ahead and throw away because it's unneeded. We don't need a whole bunch of coal all right, that should actually fill up this chest. Maybe, yeah, definitely will. Cool, so with that being said, instead of just wasting it, I'm pretty sure there can be some coal thrown into here. Now, that would be wasteful, like 100%, but it's whatever, guys. We're gonna throw it on the ground either way, so we might as well go ahead and just throw it in here, right? All right, cool, so now that we have that, we can throw the rest of the coal away and that should be good so throw the coal out we need to start storing all this so we have some actual extra space and yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna do so we're gonna get those uh chest organized we're gonna go ahead and get this mineral extractor empty or all of these come on all of these mineral extractors emptied we're gonna go ahead and do the iron ones that are over there um, get these chests all sorted. Do we have to clean up any area around here? No, we do not. So that should be good. And then we're going to go ahead and get ready for the swarm. So that's the main plan for now, guys. Well, guys, the swarm is starting to come in. Yes, it is. We did sleep till the swarm. It's 12.46. Now they should be coming in at any time. Now, I was thinking uh, just a few seconds ago that once we start building all this stuff, it's going to get really congested in here. So it's going to make uh, it's gonna make the swarm start to be kind of interesting. That's for sure. No, I cannot wait. From what the uh, from what the developer has been saying, that um, he's definitely doing a lot of work on the AI, like pathing and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how he changes that. I'm pretty sure it's coming with the version seven. Um, from what I am aware of, not 100% sure, but what time is it? Okay, they should be coming. They should already be here, actually. There they are. Ah, they're coming. <sighs> There we go. Remember, this is going to start to... Oh, it is going to get hectic around here. It is going to get hectic with all these buildings in the way. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to try to not use the ghost images or go through them just so we can kind of see how it's going to be like during Swarm. Oh, my Jesus. Just to kind of see what it's going to be like a little bit without using the ghost images. Like, there's going to be something there. Okay, okay. 
Come on. Woo, this is gonna get rough, guys. This is gonna get hard to do. Especially with all these buildings. But it's gonna make it more interesting. More challenging, for sure. So that's gonna be kinda nice. But at least all the Zambies will be in one general location. And that, I think, is it. Now, it's not that hard. Okay, I'm, let me rephrase that. It's a little bit tougher because you can't really run around a lot and kind of train the train the bambies around. So we're just going just gonna to have to get used to it, really. So that was two. Um, three. Four. Nobody sneak up on me, please. Five. Six. Go ahead and look at the loot afterwards. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Counting with just Coop 41. 12, um, 13, there we go, 13, and 14, 15, cool, so yeah, if you guys saw that, I could tell, we didn't go to any, or like through any ghost images or anything like that, because I wanted to treat that like a full block, like we couldn't go there, and then, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot, it, it was, uh, it was a lot more difficult than it originally was, what in the world, I thought that was like a cat or something, I was like, where did that thing come from, but here's the overall loot, we got some potato sprouts worthless to us, uh, plant fiber, we can get that super easy. Um, some sand, not too bad. Copper fragment, iron fragment, always good. And then some feathers and some animal fat. So not great loot, but there is a thing over here. We didn't get hit one time, so that is good. So yeah, so our main plan now is to kind of figure out what we want to do with this building. And honestly, the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I save it and then build it and see how it works. Because I might make some few, I might make a few adjustments just to like maybe take out one more row and maybe see if I can get it to work um, with adding one or two more rows back this way just to give us a little bit more room over here instead of it being kind of congested because honestly it is worst comes to worst we'll just take out one row and it won't be as deep so we won't be able to hold as many logs or plank holders or anything like that but I think it'll overall look better in the long run um, so that's gonna be the big plan we're gonna go ahead and continue to smelt all this in or all of the ingots down so that we can go ahead and start getting all of these shelves filled up because that's going to be a mission in itself but we do have some time it doesn't have to get done all in one day so that is good i think there's one there we go um but yeah it doesn't have to get done in all doesn't all have to get done in one day good lordy guys i am mush mouthing it up and you guys did say in the in the comments section, I know a lot of people didn't really like the uh, mineral extractors here. Honestly, I didn't either because it definitely took away from the building. So we went ahead and moved them over there. I'm trying to think of some type of building idea to incorporate those into. But not 100% sure yet. But that is the plan for now, guys. If anyone has any tips or suggestions of things that you would like to see with this game or would like to see with other games, make sure to bring it up in the comment section down below. In the description, there are links to different social medias that I have. If you would like, feel free to follow me so you will be able to see the behind the scenes stuff and my personal life. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and also click on the bell so you will be notified when I upload a video. As always, thanks for watching, hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.